get your awesome Google Form contact uh, out to parents um, without having their email addresses. What do you do? So first thing, you got to find your form. And so if you start in your Google Drive, uh, I had starred my form. So when I click on starred, I see it showed up right here uh, in my starred documents. Or you can go to recent. You'll find it there. I'm just going to show you some hard ways. Or I could search for it by the name. I remember it's called High Fill Crew Contacts, and it would it would show up. So when I open this, this is my responses. Um, right now I don't have any uh, responses, and you won't either when you first start this. This is not what I want to send to parents. I don't want them to see this at all, actually. Uh, I'm going to keep this locked in the share settings. Uh, I won't be sharing this unless I have um, a partner that I'm working with in the classroom, um, because I'm not giving out parent information. So when you um, want to find the actual form, you're going to click on Form and go to Live Form. And this is the um, address that you want to be sharing right here. Now I'm going to show you an easy way to do that, um, very quickly actually. And it takes installing a couple of extensions that I think are well worth your time. So we're going to go through this. I'm going to install the extension right here. So I'm going to start a new tab. And in the new tab, I'm going to make sure that I have clicked on Apps. I want to show the Apps view. And I want to go to the Web Store. You have to be in Chrome to be do, doing this, and it's well worth your time. It just saves you lots of clicks. And I'm going to be looking for the Bitly extension. Bit.ly uh, uh, URL shortener, or, you know, it's going to go to extension. I'll show you which one to do. So there are apps for it, um, like Shorten Me, um, and there's also uh, extensions. I'm looking for the Bitly one right now. And I'm just going to click, and this is the one I want, I'm going to click Add to Chrome. And I just click again, Add. I know it's the right one because it, it's the circle with the B in it. I have it on a different browser. Alright, so it is ready to go. I can manage it by um, clicking on it. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to go to my form, and if I click on it, immediately it's going to make me sign in to my Bitly account. So I'm going to allow it to use um, this account. And I am not going to have it notify me. Um, and there I'm, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to try it one more time. So I'm going to go back to my form and I'm going to click on the extension. And there it is. It gives me a shortened URL. Now, right now, it gives me this little one and it's got some letters in it uh, and numbers, and it's not that bad, but I want to customize it. And that's why I've actually gone through this process to show you. I think it's much easier to use a customized one, and I like lowercase. So I'm going to say, um, I feel contacts, and I'm going to click Save. Now, if that one is taken already, which it's not, uh, it would say Try Again. Since it's not, it's now giving me this URL, bit.ly forward slash High fail contacts. That's all anyone needs to type in. I'm going to copy that link and they'll be able to get to that form. So we'll try it. Uh, we'll type in the URL bit.ly forward slash high fail contacts. And it's all lowercase, so it's really easy to remember. And it takes you straight to the form. So you can write that URL on your board uh, that night. You can send it home and print it on a newsletter uh, asking parents to fill it out. Uh, the other thing you can do is there's other URL shorteners um, and we saw them when we were in the web store there. Uh, Shorten Me is one of my favorites. And if I add, I already have that app. Oh, it's a new version. What you can do, there's a um, uh, Google URL shortener extension the Google URL one. Remember to choose the extension. and I'm going to add this one to Chrome. And there it goes. I like this one also. Um, it's a little different function. So when I'm on the page that I want to be shortening the URL, I'm on the actual form. All I have to do is click on this and it shortens it right away for me. Now it doesn't let me customize this, um, but all I have to do is copy and it will copy that link then. 
So now I've got um, a link, I'm ready to go. I use this one often when I don't care about customizing. One thing I do like about this though, uh, I can click on QR code and immediately it gives me a QR code for um, the document I'm on. I can copy this, um, take a screenshot of this, uh, post it. Sometimes I'll just put this on my screen and parents can use their um, devices to scan it in. And instantly they've got the form right on their device. That's really happy. Um, <laughs> makes me really happy. So I uh, hope that you find the way to send out your form in an easy manner so you can get all the information back.